Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to sharpen a drill bit both manually with a bench grinder and with a professional drill bit sharpener. But first, let's see what happens if I drill a hole with a 13mm bit that has damaged cutting edges. First of all, we need to secure the piece we are working on very well to avoid accidents. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Normally, when you drill such a large hole, you have to start with a smaller pilot hole, but I wanted to show you what happens if the cutting edges are no longer sharp. You will see later that with a specially sharpened bit, you can drill without a pilot hole, even if a pilot hole is always recommended, but we will cover that very soon. Also, always use cutting oil. Without cutting oil, the bit overheats and the drilling becomes much worse. First, let's see that with a bit with damaged cutting edges, I have to apply a lot of pressure to cut the steel and the bit doesn't really do a great job. In fact, the bit scrapes and overheats the material to a point where it becomes useless to go on. Imagine if you had to make 10 holes, it becomes impossible. If we look at the hole closely, we see that the material has been partly deformed by the pressure and heat and the cutting edges have scraped rather than cut. But fortunately there is a solution. Today I will show you two tools, a bench grinder, the DS175S from Bernardo Machines and the DG13MD also from Bernardo. First let's see how to use the bench grinder. Mine in particular has two stones, a coarse one and a finer one. I almost always use the finer stone because the drill bits I use are quite small. Also make sure to have always a glass of water close to you so that you can cool the bit if it overheats. The method I will show you is quite effective and you will surely be able to drill steel again. The motion to do is to place the cutting edge parallel to the grinder and remove the damaged part, then make a slight upward rotation with your hand. But this method has several drawbacks. The first is that you probably won't be able to get the precise angle of the cutting edges because without a guide it's very difficult to grind by eye. This means that the cutting edges won't be symmetrical, leading to various problems. For example, one cutting edge might be more stressed than the other, or the hole might not be perfectly circular but ovalized. Another issue might be that the bit won't stay in position initially, resulting in a slightly off-center hole. As you can see, I managed to remove the large imperfections, but the result isn't perfect and you will never make precision holes this way. However, it's surely good enough for hobby work. The sharpener has arrived. Let's unbox the drill bit sharpener from Bernardo Machine and see what is inside. The box is very sturdy and the sharpener is well protected. Inside the box you will find the manual and the power cord. I also got an extra grinding wheel even if I don't think I will use it that much since I don't sharpen bits all the day, but you never know. Inside the machine you will find collars to hold the bits during the sharpening, all protected by a plastic bag and plenty of oil, <laughs> really a lot of oil. The machine is very compact and well built and it's quite heavy. The cutting angle can be set from 90 degrees to 135 degrees and can sharpen bits from 2 mm to 13 mm. Now let's see how to proceed practically. First. Set the web diameter of the bit that you want to sharpen. This is very important, so don't forget it. Then choose the collar of the right size with no play and the bit should be tightened in the appropriate chuck but not immobilized because we need to move it slightly. You will see why in a moment. Next bring the drill bit tip to the web diameter stop and push and rotate the drill bit until it hits the stop. Only then you should give a final tightening and immobilize the bit. At this point the rest is quite simple. The first step 
is to sharpen the cutting edges. Do this by inserting the chuck into the side hole and rotate slightly until the grinder no longer scrapes. Then rotate the chuck 180 degrees and repeat the process. As you can see, the two cutting edges are perfect and with this I could already make perfect holes. But this sharpener has a special feature, another hole that we will use to thin the web diameter. The second sharpening helps to reduce the initial cutting diameter, allowing us to drill even without a pilot hole, even if a pilot hole is always recommended. As you can see, the cut is very effective, which you can also tell by the shape of the chips that become longer and longer. The internal finish of the hole is of high quality and if you need precision holes, it's surely recommended to sharpen the bits with a professional sharpener. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it shows me that my videos are appreciated and gives me a lot of motivation. See you next time guys, you're Robbie.